The largest undertaking in this entire project is controlling invasive plants and trees. Uh, from my travels across central Pennsylvania, I can tell we are not the only property facing this problem. Plants like hay-scented fern, stillgrass, mile a minute, tree of heaven, have dominated this property for years. Now, all of these plants don't really provide food or cover for most wildlife species. The plants have greatly limited regeneration of native uh, species for years, which is what led to our pulpwood harvest. It's now the end of August, uh, moving into early September, and I spent the better part of this month spraying the 80 acres to remove the fern and still grass. Uh, the good news, it's working. Um, I'm already seeing poplar seeds coming through the dying uh, still grass thatch. The bad news, uh, it, it is time consuming, uh, a time consuming project, and I do expect follow up spray treatment over the next couple of years. Uh, so first off, let me show you my evolution of spraying equipment. At first, I used the solo piston pump, right, the uh, four gallon backpack sprayer. Now, it took one day of spraying before I realized and made the decision to upgrade to a backpack mist blower. Last summer, I was able to cover 30 acres in about a month and a half of spraying. It was a few hours per week, plus Saturdays, and I had most of the fern and silk grass removed by just using that mist blower. Now, after the timber harvest, I, I realized there was no chance that I could keep up with the growing invasive problem over the entire 80 acre property with a backpack mist blower. So I found several companies that have large scale mist blowers uh, that can be attached to tractors or, or skid steers. It took me a couple of weeks to decide which attachment I wanted to purchase, mainly because of the difficult terrain I would be spraying. I am fortunate enough to have access to pretty large farm tractors through our crop farm operations. By using this all wheel drive tractor that has a 24 inch ground clearance, I found the perfect tractor to use with a PTO driven mist blower for controlling invasives over a pretty large area. Uh, it would have been a bad and costly decision if I chose to purchase either a skid steer attachment or a sprayer that fits a smaller 30 to 50 horse garden tractor. Even though this farm tractor appears to be way larger than what is necessary for the sprayer, I can confidently say it's the best and safest option for driving over the terrain we have particularly here. Stumps, treetops, wet bottom areas, and the steeper rocky terrain up higher into the mountain. Now the sprayer has a three point attachment and a 540 PTO driven pump. There are several tank sizes. I decided to go with the 60 gallon. Um, with ideal weather conditions and the right wind direction, I can get a mist of about 50 to 80 feet. What I like about the mist sprayer too is I'm not wasting herbicide. The pressurized mist provides an adequate application without oversaturating the plants. Now my tractor is in the slowest gear and the slowest speed possible and unfortunately it's still too fast for what I need to accomplish. So in order to accurately spray over the 80 foot distance, I need to constantly adjust the shoot angle. Starting at the base of the tractor, then I angle the shoot outward to cover the 80 foot distance. So I'm in steady stop and go with the tractor. Although it's not ideal, it does cover a lot more surface area over a much shorter amount of time compared to a backpack sprayer. And the tractor and sprayer was definitely a good decision for this property. For any landowner that may consider spraying on their own, I would seriously first consider your terrain and the size of your property. I would also look into how much it costs to have a company spray it for you. It's definitely an investment uh, that you want to consider all options and even get a second opinion with your local DCNR Forester or private Forester. Now with having this equipment, the good news is too, I will be able to do follow up over the next couple of years, which I plan to also. But here we are moving into the late summer months and wrapping up and I'm feeling pretty confident with the amount of spraying that I was able to cover this year.